What's up guys, Stan with MyML. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to jack up all four wheels. Um, some people had some questions about this and the GL. It's all the same chassis, should be the same jacking points, no problems. Um, so essentially I lift up with, by the front jack point, put two front jack stands, and then lift up in the rear at the, um, at the rear trailer hitch. Um, now, it is only really safe to jack from the rear trailer hitch if you have an OEM hitch, as it's chassis mounted um, and fully secured. So. If you do not have an OEM trailer hitch or no trailer hitch at all, I would just jack up from the rear diff, which is also pretty easy to access. But just stick a 2x4 between the jack and the diff and you should be golden. Um, it is pretty straightforward, I'm going to show you guys real quick how to do that. First things foremost, car must be in park and your parking brakes should be on. I'm going to jack up the front first, but first of all I need to get some wheel shocks, which I got right here, you can get from the auto parts store or you know wherever you can get them online probably. And we'll just stick them behind each of the rear wheels, just you know, worst case scenario car does not need to slide at all. I do not want it sliding into my house. That would be pretty awful. Um, now ideally you probably don't want it mad on the ground, but not really a huge deal in my case, so just gonna be wrong with it. So we can leave those there and go to the front of the car with our jack. If you do work in your car pretty frequently, I highly recommend using a Harbor Freight jack, just one of these Pittsburgh ones. Um, this is probably not gonna be enough for your needs. I have this as a supplement for my lower cars. I jack up a side first, then I can jack up the entire front end. But with the ML, um, all we need is just a three ton, not even three ton, but one of these Pittsburgh jacks with the double pump action is super nice because uh, kind of one pull the jack raises it up pretty high. Um, I do use a two by four to stick it between the jack pad and um, the car just to kind of prevent any like damaging or scratching of the um, undercarriage of the car. So this piece is kind of not ideal. It's kind of been uh, seen some better days, but uh, whatever you got laying around should really work as long as it's kind of thick and solid. So we will be using this. Before we start jacking the car up, take note of these little jacking points. Um, below the car, you see that kind of fat guy right there? We'll be sticking the jack right underneath there. Um, so when we get the front end, we'll put the jack stands over there in the front jack points, and then there are some of them exactly the same at the rear, um, which we'll be putting those on after you jack the rear of the car up. But for now, we guys should jack at the front end. Underneath the middle of the car over here, if we just follow the middle of the car about to right there, there's this bar that goes across. That is the jacking point. Let's see if I can get a better angle at that. And there we go. So I'm going to stick the jack up there and um, kind of position it so that the 2x4 is in a good position. All right, so I've got that 2x4 sandwiched in between the jack and the car, and it's now making contact, which means we can now get it from under here and start jacking the car up as we usually would. Once we've reached the desired height of the car, we can go ahead and get the jack stand and just kind of put it around this area. I just put it just behind at the bottom end of the, or the rear end of the jacking point. Um, I'm going to count how many uh, teeth we can see. So one, two, three, four full teeth. So we'll have to match on the other side. Get it right in a good place. Like so. Alright, so with both sides matching, we can go ahead and load the car very, very slowly by twisting the jack. Alright, the car is now lowered onto the jack stands, which is perfect. Two wheels up, two wheels to go. Let's take the jack to the back of the car. So at the rear, pardon the extremely dirty car, but I got two main jacking points, so I have my OEM trailer hitch right here, which perfectly safe to jack up by, but not if you do not have an OEM one, I cannot stress that enough. Um, but if you do not have one of those, the rear diff right beyond that kind of brace right there is where we can jack the car up. Now, the ML is tall enough where you can pretty easily slide a jack all the way down there and shouldn't have a problem. Um, so yeah. Also, what may help you out is if your car has aromatically mined, you can actually put the suspension up and then jack the car up, just kind of give you a little bit more space. Uh, but I choose not to because that means I have to jack the car up a little bit even higher to get the wheels off the ground. So, um, but if you need to, it is totally possible. Um, but you know, you can do this way as well. Time to get your second set of jack stands ready to go. Also, if you remember, we put down these chocks earlier on to um, kind of prevent the vehicle from moving backwards at all when you jack the front of the car up. Now, they may be kind of stuck and wedged behind the wheel, so don't worry about those. When we jack up the rear of the car, we can get rid of those completely. All right, so my jack is now engaged with the trailer hitch in over there, so we can now jack the car from the rear. Um, one thing to note is now, obviously I have an ML, um, and it's pretty large, you know, compared to my other cars when I use them in the garage and jack them up. It's pretty big. It takes up almost the entire space. Um, I also got some stuff going on over here, so um, kind of hard to fit the jacket and all that. Um, I position it so that if I need to, I can close the garage, um, which is ideal. But if you do have a GL, um, this may be a bit trickier. So 
you should still be fine. I mean, a GL is not this much longer than an ML, um, but be aware of that. If you have some stuff and, you know, cabinets and such back here, this may be a problem for you. All right, so once you're satisfied with the rear and the height of it, you can just go ahead and uh, put the jack stands up and then uh, put the jack down as you would with the front. So now the entire car is fully in the air. Now, I didn't really go overboard with the jacking up, but as you can see, the wheel is off the ground, but not by very much. Um, same with the front, but um, all we needed to do is take the wheel off of the rear, but I was decided I might as well show you guys all four while I'm over here. Um, but yeah, that's how you safely can jack up the entire car. Um, four jack stands, all wheels off the ground. Um, the ML does have a lot of suspension travel, so, you know, even though we got like over a foot of uh, <laughs> gap over here, um, they're still barely sitting on the ground, so I can still move this front wheel. Um, you can also re uh, undo the parking brake um, if you want to move the rear wheels. Um, so I'll actually be adjusting the parking brake while I'm out here, so I will be undoing that and doing making a video on that as well. So, uh, but yeah. That is it for this video, guys. Hopefully it helped you out. I know some of you guys are talking about uh, having some trouble doing this. So um, hopefully that clear things up.